in honor of the new Matrix movie coming out, which is probably already out by the time you all are watching this, we are doing a Matrix-inspired makeup look. Let's get started. So I already did my base, I did my primer, my foundation, and I did my eyebrows. I am going to start with the matrix computer effect right here. So seeing all of the digital coding, uh, that's what the matrix is known for. So I'm going to do that first. We're going to start with this Alice through the looking glass. This is Urban Decay Time. Hopefully you can see it's like a black navy, a little bit of gray kind of mixture. And I want to start with a little bit light color black and then maybe go in and define. So we're going to start with the black and I'm going to kind of scatter that. What I want is for the effect to look like it is dripping. Okay, so that does have a little bit more of a blue tint than I would like, so I'm gonna grab a black. But I just wanted to say that I am doing a green on my eyelid, but this part right here I do want black, so I just tried to angle it up with my nose as best I could. I really like the black shimmer that it gave doing that kind of blue shimmer underneath. Now we're going to go in with the semi-tedious part, LA Shockwave. This is where I strongly recommend that you get a liquid eyeliner or some sort of liquid green because with the pencil it was a lot more tedious. So I sharpened it for the first time and look at how much brighter it is. Going, I'm going over the same lines. But that's probably what I'm going to do then, finish doing the first lines, and then when I go over it, I can make it a lot brighter. For my eyeshadow, I'm going in with this Revolution palette. I take a little bit more of a packed brush. I really like that green eyeshadow, so I did do a little bit underneath my eyelid as well. For now, we're just going to do the contour, and I am going to use the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. What I want to do is, because I'm going for a little bit of a coating robotic effect, so I do want to have very chiseled cheekbones. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. That I think is much better, a little bit more robotic. So the same eyeliner pencil I'm going to take and I'm going to line out the center. Now we're going back in with that green that I fell in love with. So I want to go ahead and go in a little bit darker on the cheeks. I'm going to go do a metallic black. So because of that, then I'm going to take a bigger brush and we're going to do the green. We're just going to blend on blend and stack and blend and stack so that the green shows up as much as possible. Brought you up close because before we do the lips, let's go ahead and attempt some of these numbers. I'll try to do a few on camera, but that's gonna be a little tricky. Let's get started. Jeez, talk about up close and personal. This is NYX. So this is a Epic Wear. This is just a waterproof white liquid eyeliner. And this is how it looks. I am trying to make this as thin as possible and we're doing one letter or number at a time. I 
Alright, that took me a million years. Now I'm going to add some white lines throughout to give it some more dimension, some more depth. And I'm not 100% sure on my nose if I wanted to write any type of characters like letters or numbers or anything. I might. Uh, I might. I just don't want it to look weird. So I'm going to add the lines for the highlight. That's what I ended up with and I went ahead and took this NYX white liner and I put it right at the bottom. I'm using this NYX liquid lip. It's a glitter lipstick and it's called Alienated. So sorry, I thought I was recording, but I was using this, it's a Kat Von D Alchemist palette. This is a holographic highlight palette. And it is amazing. So I went in with this green here, which I, I mean, you could see pan, you know how much I use it, but that's where I got this highlight here on the cheekbones because I was missing a little bit of a highlight and I liked it so much. I decided to go ahead and add it on the chin to really kind of add to that metallic metal look. And I'm also going to put some here in the corner, blend it right here. To kind of reduce some of the harshness. So make sure definitely that your your eyeliner, your liquid, or anything that you use right here is dry before, but that really adds to it. I love that. I loved it so much. I just dusted it all over, and I think that gave the perfect color that I was really missing to give it to pop. So I also added just a little bit underneath my eyebrows, just right there on my brow bone, and then also a little bit on my cupid's bow. All right, that is the look. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more to come.